Welcome back to Engineer's Guide. Today we're going to talk about also the FM200 fire suppression system. And this time around it's on also the Simplex 4004R. That is the model number. And we're going to talk about this system, how it's going to suppress fire in case there is fire. And this is the setup of it. Okay, and that is the setup of it so this is the overview and when you look on the drawing we have the releasing circuits the knock circuits the ICPC, the zones the inputs and the out the input devices and the output devices all as well okay and this is the manual pull station that and that is also the spare unit for supply of 240 volts and these are the detectors that we're going to test with but this one in the middle is for fire alarm and this is the nozzle that the um, hfc the gas is going to pass through to just extinguish to be extinguished inside the room okay so now this is the detector zone one zone one detector one and that is the our tester that we're going to use to test and here we have the bell they evacuate gas signage and this is the horn strobe light okay so then we move on to the abort switch the abort switch it's being used and being it works mainly when there is we are on the pre alarm that is on the second stage this is the discharge pressure switch okay that is when if it's been activated manually it will give signal to the panel that someone has activated it manually and this is the solenoid the solenoid has been resetted this is the gas compressed heptafluor propane gas compressed with nitrogen okay this is the solenoid with its reset tool and this is the cylinder head okay this is the solenoid it has been resetted so in case we start to test we will just show how it's going to extend and that is the reset tool that is attached to it the black color that is what we use to reset it to just push it inside okay so it's going to be in form like this then you tighten it as you are tightening then it's resetting okay and this is the overview of the panel everything is in order everything has been connected so we will just move on straight to the testing the testing of the system okay and we explain also further on our other videos and these are the relays the trouble relay the alarm relays so we start with the zone one so we're going to activate the first zone and we see what is going to happen okay so activating the first zone is going to ring the bell and going to light the evacuate light and the horn strobe light also as well that is how we programmed it to work okay and on the panel is going to show alarm for the zone that has been activated to that is the zone one activation okay so that is what is going to happen so we go on to the second zone we try to activate that one also as well and we see what is going to happen the sound is going to change but it looks the same okay you see the sounds it's very different so after 30 seconds this plunger is going to extend so you just look at it when it's being fixed on the cylinder this will extend you see ah so that is what is going to push the plunger inside on top of the cylinder to just release the gas okay then this is what is going to be shown do not enter it means the gas has been released so that is how the system works it's so simple and it's automated so that is the alarms the second zone that we activated and the third alarm is the pressure switch that we also activated that is what it's activating and it's showing here agent released okay meant to say it has been released now when we want to fix the sol um, solenoid back that is how it's going to look like so if it's extends then it will just discharge through this pipeline onto where i showed you and these are based trench detectors okay with its remote indicator so i'm going to try also that one we will test this one and we see if you activate this you will see the evidence there 
okay so whenever you come and this light is on so you will know that where you will know which device has been activated